How is it going guys? Call to much back at it with a $750 gaming PC build. This is an excellent build if you want to run every game at 1080p at near max settings, 60 frames per second, all that kind of jazz at a really reasonable price of $750. So without further ado, let's get right into this build. For the CPU, I went with the Intel Core i5 4460 3.2GHz quad core processor. For $177, it's a really solid CPU, although it's not a K-series processor, meaning you can't overclock it. It still provides decent performance at 3.2GHz and it's still a quad core CPU, which you definitely want out of a CPU in 2015. This is still very good for the money, $177. It's going to give you a lot of performance, and it lets you save a little bit of money and put that towards the video card, which is definitely the crux of a gaming build, and we put a lot of money towards the GPU in this build. But the i5-4460 is still a solid CPU at a very reasonable price, and it's a winner all around, lets you save some money, but still provides decent performance. For the motherboard, I went with the ASRock H97 Pro 4 ATX LJ1150 motherboard. This is only $82, didn't go with the Z97 board, of course, since you can't overclock on the i5 we went with since it's not a K-series processor. But this motherboard for $82 still provides a lot of features. Four memory slots, so you do have upgradeability options for the RAM. It's an LJ1150 board, so you can upgrade to an i7 down the line if you want. Supports up to max 32 gigabytes of memory can't go for a crossfire sli configuration but i'm not a big fan of that anyway so that should be just fine for most of you guys if you guys want to do that you'll have to spend a little bit more money for a motherboard but otherwise the gpu we got in this build it's so powerful that i don't think you're going to be looking for more performance for a very long time memory corsair vengeance 8 gigabytes 2 4 gigabyte sticks running at 1600 megahertz it's 8 gigabytes of ram the corsair vengeance line is a great line of memory and for 50 dollars, it's 8 gigabytes of ram but like i said the motherboard does have four ram slots so 16 months, 24 months down the line, if you do want to go for a 16 gigabyte configuration, that option will be open. But for now, 8 gigabytes of RAM, the Corsair Vengeance for $50 is a really good deal. And 8 gigabytes, you definitely want to get at least 8 gigabytes because most of the games these days are recommending you to have 8 gigs. And 8 gigs for $50 is a really solid deal. For storage, I went with the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB 7200 RPM internal hard drive. No SSD in this build, decided just to go with the mass storage in the Caviar Blue. In the future, SSD prices are constantly dropping. So again, two years down the line, if you you're like, man, I do want to get an SSD. By that point, you could probably get like a 240 gig SSD for a really cheap price. For now, stick with the one terabyte WD Blue. It's still relatively fast. It has a good warranty policy. And for $52, you're getting a lot of storage here. And in the future, you can get the SSD if you want. But right now, it makes a lot more sense to just get the hard drive for a very cheap price. For the video card, I was actually able to fit in an EVGA GeForce GTX 970, the one with the ACX cooler. This is $325. This is a great GPU. 1080p gaming, every game maxed out. Just about. Some games like Metro Last Light and Witcher 3 just like nothing can max them out, but the 970 does a damn good job on every game. 1080p, 60 frames per second on nearly all of them, and for $325, you're also getting a free copy of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and Batman Arkham Knight. Those are two games. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt's already out, but that's a game the PC gaming world is buzzing about. Yes, there was a graphical downgrade. It's still an amazing game. Go play it. Batman Arkham Knight, another game that's going to be coming out in the next few weeks that the PC gaming world is buzzing about. That game's going to be amazing. All the Batman games are great. And those are two games you're getting absolutely for free. $325 for an awesome GPU and two amazing games. That's a steal in my book. The GTX 970 also has an awesome cooler, so if you want to overclock it, you can do that. Get more performance out of this. But right now, for $325, two epic free games. Just a great value. You really can't go wrong with the 970 right now. For the power supply, I'm with the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply. Some of you guys might be surprised. Why am I only going with the 500 watt? Well, the 970 is very, very power efficient, as is the i5-4460. This build at max TDP is only actually going to use around 330 watts, so getting anything more is kind of useless, especially because, like I said, the motherboard can't even go for an SLI or crossfire configuration. So this 500 watt power supply is actually going to give you a little bit of headroom. The 970, like I said, super power efficient, especially for a high-end video card like that, so this 500 watt for $40 makes a lot of sense. Finally, for the case, I went with the Cooler Master Half 912 ATX Mid Tower Case. I'm kind of partial to this case since I have it myself. It's a great Mid Tower Case, solid case. Cooler Master has a lot of good cases and this one definitely falls in line. Got a lot of good ventilation, upgradeability options, and a lot of features. It's going to keep all your parts cool and for $53, this is a solid mid-tower case to go with. I like my Half 912 a lot and I think you guys will too. So thanks for watching this video guys. If you have a request for a future video, just leave it in the comment section down below. I try to read every single comment. Sometimes I might not reply to all of them, but I do try to read all of them. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Peace out.